Hey guys, Eric and Angie, and I've got a couple of things. These are some of my favorite products, guys. These are from ATN. I have the Thermal, which is my um, one of my most recent products that I've received from them. But I also have the Excite 4K Pro, and I've had this one for a little while. And um, I equally love them both. But I've gotten a question a few times lately. Um, should I buy the Thermal or should I buy the Excite 4K Pro? And it's a really good question because you're really dropping a good chunk of change into either one of them. So you wanna be sure that you're completely satisfied with what you buy. Um, like I said already, I love them both, but there are some things that one's better for than the other. Both of them have a decent battery life. I mean, I've gone out all night, all day with both of them and have not been at all concerned about my battery dying on either scope. So that's a huge plus. You don't have to worry about, oh, I need to get back to the truck or I need to carry an extra battery pack with me or any of that stuff. So guys, I'm gonna go over the, some of the pros and the cons and I'm gonna start with the ATN Excite 4K Pro. This one I've had for quite a while and I love it. It is a day slash night scope. You can um, use it during the day and then when it gets a little dark, you turn on the IR light and you've got a night vision scope. Now, both of these record great video. Um, one of the cons, I guess you might say, is that you have to have an IR light with the Excite 4K Pro. You don't have to have an IR light with a thermal because this, of course, picks up heat signature. It's completely different. So that's one more thing you're gonna have to keep track of. You're gonna have to make sure you have the batteries charged up and an extra set if you plan on going out for quite a while. Um, so I don't know that I'd call that a con, it's just kind of an extra step that you'll have to make sure you do in order to have a successful night hunt. During the day guys, just slap the scope on there. You don't need an IR light. And the video guys is beautiful, crisp. Some of my cameras that I record my videos with right here in the studio don't record as beautifully as this does. So. I really love the recording capability for the videos. The image quality is absolutely wonderful. I guess that's about all I can really think of for the Excite 4K Pro. I mean, you have both day and night options with that one. Now, moving on to the Thor. So the Thor is a thermal, and yes, you can hunt day or night with it, but I will tell you, I took it out recently squirrel hunting with me during the day, it is not impossible, but it is a little more challenging because every living thing, including trees and some bushes, will light up. They give off a heat signature. So like when I went squirrel hunting with my Thor 4, if that squirrel lay just right on that tree, I couldn't see it. I could see it just fine with the AT and with the Excite 4K Pro, but Thor 4, it blended in. And if you're hunting big game during the day in thick brushy areas, and that can be a little difficult to find them in that too. But if you are strictly a night hunter, a predator hunter, um, somebody who just hunts late evenings, night, early mornings, it's still dusk and dawn. I mean, the Thor 4 is absolutely wonderful. It's not impossible with the thermal because I did get some good shots with it during the day. So it's not completely impossible it's just gonna take a lot of getting used to and a lot of adjusting to a squirrel camouflaged even more into the tree than they do in nature. The Thor 4 guys is great for night hunting and great for animal recovery. Um, I, I don't know if you've seen it, but when I killed the buck, I was able to actually follow his heat signature through the bushes and watched him fall so that helped my recovery, I mean, immensely, immensely. Another thing about the thermal guys, kind of a con, is you're gonna have to have a different type of target. You either can um, get ATN's um, thermal targets that they sell, or what I do is I'll get a big white, a thick piece of paper and just put a black, um, sticker in the center a bit. It's got to be a good size black center guys. Just something that contrasts. You got to have a major major contrast in color 
for your target with the Thor 4. With the X-Lite 4K, guys, you can use whatever target you'd like. I mean, because it's just like looking through. It's like looking through a t traditional scope. You get the actual view of what is in front of you, your target, where this generally picks up heat signatures. So if you have a target set up that's black with a red dot in the center, it's just, you're not even gonna see it. So you do have to have some sort of special targets to sight in the thermal where you don't with this one. Um, guys, I know it can be difficult trying to make a decision of um, which one you want to get, especially when you're dropping that much change on something. It's a big decision, so I hope that this video helps you guys. If you're more of a night hunter, even early morning, late evening, the Thor 4 is awesome. If you hunt more during the day, ATN x 4K Pro is awesome. If you do a little of both, you can probably get good enough with the thermal to use it during the day. So it really, really depends on what you guys are gonna be doing with it, which one is best for you. That's it for today, guys. I'm Aragon Angie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Like always, guys, have an awesome one. See ya.